Well, I love the fact that you created a niche for yourself as a coach for startup companies. And I know that lots and lots of companies came to you looking for your guidance. And you were very selective about the type of companies that you decided to get engaged with. What were you looking for? What were the, the key things? You know, if I came to you, I actually thought about doing this today. I was going to come up here and pitch an idea to Fern and kind of get some real-time coaching, but uh, decided we would pass on that. <laughs> but let's imagine I have. Let's, uh, let's say I came here and I pitched an idea. What would be the things that you would be looking for? You know, first of all, I spend a lot of time with the company before I decide to do anything with them. And I have to really believe that you, you are going to make it successful, you as a CEO. Now that doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be the CEO and there are 5,000 people there. As a matter of fact, it's probably better if you understand that you're, you're not that person. And I will spend a lot of time focusing on what are your skills, you know, what do you bring to the party. Um, Frankly, I'm always a little concerned when four people come who have been friends for, you know, a couple of years and they're all singing Kumbaya and they've split it up 25, 25, 25, 25 <laughs> and they're going to be the team that takes it, you know, to an IPO because, you know, I always ask the question, well, you know, what are, what's everyone going to be doing in three months, six months, one year, three years? And we just go through a whole series of questions on why is this going to be a sustainable, great company? And I don't help companies that want to become a good company, um, even though that's a great thing. But I want companies that want to believe they're going to be 100 million, 500 million, a billion. And we sit down and really map it out. How will they get there? You know, what are the key things they need to do? Um, the other thing, though, is I don't believe that all companies are going to have an IPO. So one of my key screens is, are they a potential acquisition candidate? And not one company, not two companies, but, but 10 companies. What 10 companies would want to acquire them? And in a diverse, across a broad spectrum, you know, that they could go down a lot of different verticals um, because things change. You know, every company kind of goes like that, and I'm going to help them kind of narrow that, but, you know, that, that acquirer could be way out there. Very interesting. Now, how long do you typically stay involved with these companies that you are coaching? Is there a point at which you sort of throw them out of the nest and, um, you know, they're on their own, or is this a very long-term relationship over you, many years? You know, um, I always joke with the CEOs when I first get involved that uh, in a year or two, they're going to forget my name. And they, they, you know, just completely disagree and, you know, because we're talking 10 times a day and everything is critical and I need to be involved in every decision. But if I do a good job, I bring in great advisors, great board members, great team members. I, I get rid of myself. You know, I'm, I'm on to the next one. So it's really the first year is really intense. And then by the end of year two, you know, we're talking once a week. But you get invited to their holiday party, I do. right? <laughs> I, do <laughs> get, I do get invited to all the weddings and <laughs> baby showers and holiday parties. So 